kind man has been able to destroy pretty much everything that was created and crafted by the kind man. The kind man's way of life has never been promoted in human history. Nowhere on earth has that been promoted. Today we have a great example of just that, how unkind man can destroy all of the kindness and the goodness that has been found and been created, been crafted, put emphasis, have put in all of the efforts, all of the knowledge, all of the skill, and to destroy. You truly do not need any experience, truly do not need any education, truly do not require any... Yes, please do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> truly do not require any skill, truly do not require any intelligence. It can be destroyed in no time given. And that to me, in civilized society as we call it ourselves to be in, are uncivilized. Even to this day, there are loads and lots of, lots of announcements to confirm that we still need reminding of our actions. We are truly unable to hold back our innocence, hold on to our intelligence, hold on to our way of uh, protecting our history, heritage, and way of life. We continue to promote the very aberrant and very ugly and very selfish and very greedy and very ridiculous, ludicrous behaviors that causes this kind of destruction to absolutely incredible history. As you can hear, it's relayed out in Chinese and it's relayed out in English and it's repeated non-stop as such a nuisance, as such a noise that you truly do not want to hear as human beings if we are educated and intelligent enough. Hello everyone. Please watch your steps. Protect and respect, res respect Buddha statues is everyone's responsibility. Please do not touch and draw on the statues. And it's exactly what we do. Graffiti, craving, carving, I should say. And that's, it's irresponsible, inhuman, irrespectable, disrespectful behavior of our one kind, the human nonsensical kind.